Good evening, Chairman. Thank you for having me. Uh, my name is Victoria Strang. I am the director and lead organizer of the Rhode Island Interfaith Coalition to Reduce Poverty. I represent over 80 faith-based organizations, congregations, and social service agencies throughout the state who have come together to work to reduce poverty. Um, I am here to say that our organization strongly supports Senator Goodwin's bill. Um, we are seeing such a strong uptick in our state in the number of women who are the heads of their households. Nearly 57,000 households in our state are headed by women. Unfortunately, about 30% of those are headed by women who are making less than the poverty level. So when we're talking about the wage gap, we're talking about significant impacts on families and the future of children in our state and their ability to access services as well as education and different critical pieces for their life. Um, this also impacts how women receive benefits such as social security and employer provided health because all of that is based on one's annual wage. So it is bigger than just one person, one individual woman. Additionally, I would like to note that education also um, experiences huge pay gaps. I myself just moved here after finishing my master's degree, and I was surprised to learn that in Rhode Island um, there is a significant pay gap no matter what level of education you accrue. So if a woman has a master's degree or a PhD, um, she would still make less than a man who has a bachelor's degree. So I think we really need to look at that when we're going forward. Thank you. Any questions? 